Hi there, it's Carl here from Cleaning How To, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to clean a viscose rug. Now, viscose is a cellulose fiber, that means it's made of paper. What they do is they take pure cellulose, boil it, put a dye into it, and then press it through a spinner that almost looks like a shower head to turn it into a filament fiber. Now, that means that I've got a cellulose paper rug here which cannot be wet cleaned. If I wet clean this rug, I'm going to activate the lignin, which is the natural dye in the, the cellulose fiber almost like cutting an apple in half and it's going to brown out so I must dry clean it. So to clean a viscose rug what I'm going to use is, is a dry compound powder. I also have a tamping brush, a cotton terry towel, some dry cleaning solvent and a very small amount of peroxide. This one is called Stain Exit. It's made by a company called Chemspec but any peroxide will do. So I'm going to isolate a spot on the rug and I'm then going to put the dry cleaning powder on it. Now this is a spot that I'm isolating, so I'm gonna brush this into the area. The sponges are generally polymer or corn husk that are impregnated with a dry cleaning solvent. And what happens is, as I brush those dry compound, as I brush that dry compounding powder into the rug, the solvent activates the soil in the rug and the sponges then absorb it out into it. It's quite limited, but it's one of the only ways that you can clean viscose. So as you can see, it's not really done much for the, uh, for the staining here. So I'm gonna move on to a darker stain down here. I've got a dark stain here. I'm gonna put my dry cleaning compound onto the stain. Now, as you can see, it is actually activating the soil. I'm gonna put a little bit more dry cleaning compound down. Tamp that into the area to get the, the solvent activating the dirt. And that's actually working quite nicely. We are on about 60, 70% removal right now. open the pile up a little bit and tamp the solvent in just to work that soil loose now again with the dry cleaning compound you're going to be fairly limited in what you can achieve which is why I also have my dry cleaning solvent over beside me. So now what I'm gonna do is take my terry towel and just put a tiny bit of solvent onto the terry towel and blot the stain out of the rug. Now you can see there's a little bit of black transfer coming out onto the towel, which means that that's working. So another way of doing this is to literally spray dry cleaning solvent onto the tail and blot the stain out of the rug. Okay, so now that I've isolated my spots and stains, I'm gonna spread the dry cleaning compound over the rug. And I'm gonna clean it in two halves. So I'm gonna do this half first. S soft brushes on my brush roller. Okay, so now that my dry cleaning solvent has evaporated off, I'm just left with the micro sponges or the dry cleaning sponges in the rug. So I'm gonna use my SIBO upright vacuum cleaner with the mechanical beater bar in the rug. So it's got a brush and I'm gonna vacuum the rug off. So now what I'm gonna do, I've done my spot cleaning and my general overall clean on the rug and I've vacuumed up my micro sponges. I'm gonna use a tiny little bit of peroxide 
literally two or three squirts and just isolate any of the stains that remain. So I've got some staining here. And I'm just gonna gl glance the peroxide over the top of the stains to see if they come out. And again, it's a little bit like trying to keep clean paper. So I've got about 80, 90% of the staining out here. I'm gonna move on to these here now. And we're looking for a chemical reaction, not a physical one. So I'm not scrubbing the rug. I'm just glancing the peroxide onto the remaining stains. Okay, so this is after taking about an hour to do. We also pre-vacuumed and pre-treated the rug a little bit. So this is after taking about an hour to do between isolating the spots and stains on the rug and actually doing the dry compound clean of it. Viscose is really, really difficult to clean. Um, the good thing is that we haven't made the condition of the rug any worse than it already is. So for a professional cleaner or from a professional cleaner's point of view, I've not damaged the viscose. What I've done rather is given it a brighten up and tried to isolate and treat as many spots and stains as possible. But for the reason, reasons outlined at the start of the video, viscose is paper and isn't going to be very responsive to cleaning. The analogy I would use is it's a bit like trying to clean kitchen paper. So that's it for the video. Carl here from Cleaning How To, your go-to cleaning specialist on YouTube. If you like the video, there's a button down there to let me know you care. Please consider subscribing to the channel. It really does help us out a lot. Thank you for watching the video.